Welcome back. Hello, how are we? I'm so excited for today because I'm actually about to head off to the Post Malone and Red Hot Chili Peppers concert. I bought tickets for Caitlyn's birthday back in July last year. So we have been waiting for this day for a very long time and I am very, very excited. I'm hoping they don't take my camera off me tonight. I don't think they will. I don't know. I'm really scared if they do say like I can't bring a camera in that I'm just going to have to, I don't even know go back to my car or something <sighs> hopefully they don't but i'll show you, i'll show you guys my outfit that i'm wearing tonight um the outfit that i'm wearing tonight this is actually all from white fox boutique i've been shooting content for them all afternoon i just thought i would wear one of the outfits the jeans are from them the top is from them this new bag i actually got gifted it's from giorgio armani it's really cute caitlin and i really want to buy merch shirts as well if we can get our hands on them and the lines not too long so fingers crossed I'm about to drive there now and we're gonna go get something to eat first and a drink first and then head to the concert before i leave i thought i would show you guys the chaos that happens after i film content literally all day i just have been on a absolute try on spree like there was coat hangers all on my floor i did just like lift some of these up and put them over the chair because i have to film two more videos tomorrow but you honestly should have seen my whole living room space turns into my wardrobe when i'm filming videos and i've just had i've had my little tripod i've had my little tripod set up filming tiktoks and i'm going to clean this up tomorrow this is an outfit shot if you guys wanted a full length the video i texted kaylin a photo i was like i feel very y2k i think it's the bag with the low-rise jeans and the baby tee but i'm really into it i think it's cute i'm gonna blast red hot chili peppers the whole way there and i will see you when i get there i'm in my car just waiting for kaylin to get here she's like five minutes behind me i am in dire need of a phone charger though my phone because i was on a call to kaylin on the way here playing music and on maps as well like giving directions my phone is nearly dead and I my cord has decided to stop working so I'm a little bit stressed because then I can't, if my phone dies I literally can't get home because I don't know how to get home. We're like in the middle of, I don't even know where we are because I don't know how to get home from here so I think we're going to try and find like a convenience store or something because I need a phone charger that works otherwise I'm not getting home. I'm probably going to have to sleep here if my phone dies like I actually don't know what I'll do or I'll just have to try and find my way home somehow. There we go. I really want to get something to eat and drink before we go on as well because I haven't had dinner and it's about 5.30. It's still pretty early, but I want to get something to eat and then also have a little drink before I go in. And I'm so excited. Mads coming at you right now. I'm just editing this video and I've realized that I thought I had hit record in my car when I was going to an appointment, but apparently I did not. I don't have the footage. Um, so I'm just coming on to say hi. This is the day after the concert and I was actually just going off to an appointment um, to see an aesthetic nurse and I had spoken about the whole thing in this clip but apparently i don't have the clip i was going off to go get a little bit of filler in the bridge of my nose which is just something that bugs me and that i like to do for myself if you guys have followed the vlogs for a while you would know that that was like my biggest insecurity for such a long time yeah i was going to see nurse ashley and she's really good so this is what it's looking like now i'm gonna go back to editing but hope you guys are enjoying the vlog hi i haven't vlogged for basically the rest of the afternoon honestly i'm not gonna lie to you guys i came home and had a nap i was so tired from last night and i wasn't even like drinking we had like one cocktail i need my eight hours sleep but i wanted to give you guys a nose update so this is what it's looking like over oh, side on so it's literally just like a tiny bit in the bridge of my nose just to like smooth it out a little bit and it's 
probably nothing <laughs> i feel like you guys are probably like that is so stupid maddie like why are you even doing that but it just bothers me especially when i'm taking photos all day i have to like look at my side profile a lot and it just really frustrates me so that's my update i think i can pretty sure i can put skincare on i mean i've still got kind of like blood dots sorry that is like i should have put a trigger warning as well if you guys don't like stuff like this you would have absolutely hated hearing about that but anyways i'm just getting ready i'm going out for dinner t oh, that really hurt um i'm going out for dinner tonight to a vegan restaurant in bondi it's called eden and i've seen so many people eat there on instagram and a few of my friends have gone and they said and they said it was good so i'm really excited to go and try the food it's friday night so i kind of want to get out especially because i've just been i came home and had a nap and then i just felt really gross when i wake up from naps during the day i just feel shit like i'm so disorientated and really sleepy still and it just makes me feel like trash but i had to do it otherwise i would have just being so grumpy this afternoon, which is not what we want. We don't want Grumpy Maddie to come out. In the same outfit that I was wearing earlier today, this is all from White Fox. The jeans are also from White Fox. I had so many of you guys in my DMs asking me where these jeans were because I posted them on my Instagram story. So they're from White Fox, code Maddie. Hair is in a claw clip. And then I've just got little silver earrings on and I'm wearing my new pink bag and probably just a pair of sneakers. These are the jeans. Also, how cute are my yellow towels? I love yellow in my apartment, but these are the jeans, by the way. If you guys are wondering, I'm obsessed. They are such a good fit on me. They're like a really perfect baggy low rise. We're at Eden Bondi. The menu sounds divine. It's all plant-based here. And she recommended the lychee cocktail. How pretty it is here, guys. If you want a cute lunch spot or date night spot, I feel like this is such a nice place to come to. First entrees are here. We got cauliflower popcorn, popcorn cauliflower. He's giving it a 10 out of 10 so far. And then these are ricotta stuffed zucchinis. Dig in. Was oh, that all just sauce? I think so, at the top. Good. Oh, yum. No cheese. It'd be vegan cheese. I'm just gonna mash together heaps of clips of you putting the fruit in. Pastas are here. I got the shroom pasta. John got the cashew pepe gnocchi. You wanna try it again for the vlog? No, yeah, it's gonna be way I'm gonna steal a piece. What's that? I can't include this in the vlog. You can, it's like in normal life. No. Every, every person that watches your vlog will Stop understand it. where you're coming from. <laughs> John has been very inappropriate, but we just finished at dinner. We are both so full, I can barely move. That was so good. We actually got takeaway. It's a man, mate. Is that the person behind us? Yeah. We're literally in a traffic jam and there's someone beeping. <laughs> what do you want us to do, sir? I'm fucking going out. <laughs> um, but we did get takeaway pasta because we both didn't finish our food tonight, which is, I look so tired. I just looked at myself in the viewfinder. I'm like talking like, half asleep but we've got takeaway pasta for lunch well actually no we're meant to be going for lunch tomorrow too i'm not even gonna eat that i just did it to be nice i'll eat it i can't eat pasta twice and i just feel so heavy Your and gross pizza. yeah actually you know what i've been really good with my eating too like mm. on my fitzboy diet as we know but we did get takeaway so hopefully maybe tomorrow night for dinner or something we can eat it but we're supposed to be going out for lunch tomorrow Although I might actually have to take my friend to hospital because she's, thank you so much. That would have been so. <laughs> Sorry, the radio was on in the background. Um, but oh I think I might be having to take my friend, my girlfriend, to hospital tomorrow. She's okay. She's just, um, yeah, she's a little bit unwell. So I think I, I don't know if I'm gonna be able, even able to get to lunch. What is going on? You got the wrong way, brother. <laughs> Maybe he has to go down to the pay station. Oh, I'm no. sure you can pay up here. Maybe not. Oh, it's broken. He laps up one day. Woo! Damn, it looks so nice at this time of night. So nice. The sun is setting, you guys. Wait, I need to show you. There's people everywhere. What the hell? Look how pretty this is. Home time. 
Look how nice the water looks. Oh my gosh, look at Ravisi's. Oh, that's that's so cute. cute. Today's gonna be such a good day. The weather is just divine. I got back from a walk this morning with my girlfriend, Rach. We went and got coffee and just did the coastal Bondi Bronte walk. And I'm about to jump in the shower. I obviously am not ready. I have to get myself looking a little bit more presentable. And then I'm heading out for lunch today. We're going to Icebergs in Bondi, like the dining room area in Icebergs, not just the bar area. And I haven't been, I don't think I've ever gone there for lunch before. Yeah, I don't think I've ever been there for lunch. I've been to the bar, like the casual area, but not like the nice, nicer area. So I'm, so it should be a really fun day. I don't know what I'm wearing. Black set or the jeans, that's my bra. <laughs> Maybe the jeans, but I'm not 100% sure yet, but you guys will see whatever I decide. My flowers are also looking super cute. Thinking about even getting another bouquet of flowers today and then putting them over there. I just love having fresh flowers in my apartment. It just makes me so happy. Maybe I'll get some flowers after lunch and do a little bit of shopping in Bondi. When I was there this morning, I walked into to Choosy and they had a really cute dress that I really want to try on. Okay, let's do some glam together. I don't know why I just said that so strangely. I just got out of the shower, put some comfy clothes on just to get ready. Oh my God, bug, no. I used this new um, Giorgio Armani Power Fabric Plus foundation on my tiktok normally i use the luminous silk from Giorgio armani my girlfriend is really sick currently and i thought i was gonna have to take her to hospital today but she called me before and said she's just still waiting for her blood tests to get back so she said still go to lunch but i may be on call i was so offended this morning i woke up to a comment on my tiktok someone was like it was a fake account and someone was like trying to be rude but like in like a funny sassy way they're like you've gained so much weight on your face it looks so good love hot eyes like i know but also don't be rude some people are just mean so sad dab that in down my neck i need to contour my cheeks before someone else says that i look fat in my face <laughs> it's a joke glam is done guys this is the finished look apologies for the downlight but very simple, my go-to glam every time I go out for like lunch or something because I feel like it's pretty light but glowy and it does the job. So I'm gonna go, I have to do my hair, get dressed, and then I'll show you guys the finished outfit. Whilst we're in my spare bathroom as well, I thought I would show you guys the mini upgrade in this room. I actually finally went out and got some nice products to put in the spare bathroom. Hand wash and then also the hand lotion as well. This stuff smells incredible. I just got both of these from Mecca. And I'm also thinking, I'm also thinking about getting a second makeup shelf, shelving unit because as we can see, it's just so full and I actually went through and decluttered a whole bunch of stuff and I gave it to one of my girlfriends. This is my condensed makeup bag now where I have like only the things that I use every day. And then in here I've got my products that I want to try or I like but I just haven't switched out some other products in my current makeup bag oh my god also went through and sorted out all of my lip products into this little organizer this is actually a tray that goes into one of my makeup bags and i just thought it would be perfect for storing my lipstick so we've got all my fenty there's rare beauty oh, all my lip liners and then some extra lip sticks this is Giorgio money um there's a lot of charlotte tilbury some mac in there tom ford just like all my different lipsticks and lip products that I use regularly. And then I also have some other ones like the um, colors and shades that I don't use that often, like more of the red ones still stored in the in the shelves in my makeup. I had an afternoon where I just came in here and cleaned out and organized so much stuff and I felt so much better. So up here, there's still a few more lip products, like all of the NARS ones in this case. And then I also have a whole heap of foundations that I really like, like you guys can see, I've used my NARS. Um, foundation all the time probably should clean that and then there's just some other ones in here as well that don't actually fit in the shelving units and I also cleared out all of my old eyeshadow palettes just because I wasn't using them anywhere near as much as what I should be so I just thought someone else would put them to better use so I've got like only a few left up there and then I just have makeup bags at the top I'm gonna go get ready now and I will show you guys my finished outfit pay for parking 
I'm wearing my fave jeans to lunch. Also guys, my camera's about to die. Good morning everyone. It is Sunday and I just got back from the gym this morning. I did a grid workout class. My camera died yesterday as we know. I didn't really get to film anything at lunch actually. But it was a very nice afternoon. The view was stunning. So yeah, we had a really nice afternoon and then we just came home and I put my camera on charge but I totally forgot to pick it up. We just ordered some dinner and then watched movies and then fell asleep. But I'm up nice and early this morning. I went and finished grid with Rachel and now I'm just home. I just got out of the shower, did a little bit of skincare and um, just doing a few like different house chores things. I've got the washing on and that's basically my Sunday plan. I've got some work to do. I've got to edit this vlog, edit a bunch of photos and TikToks and reels and stuff like that. So my Sunday is very boring. Nothing exciting is happening today at all. It's such a beautiful day, so I have regrets. I wish I could go to the beach, but I just really need to get some stuff done. I'm waiting for my laptop to charge so I can start editing this. Sorry, my camera never wants to focus on my face. Hello. There we go. Um, so I can start, so I can actually start to edit the vlog that you guys are currently watching. That's going to be my plan today. Also really random, but my book rack if anyone's interested. My dad actually sent this to me in the mail. It's Samantha Wills of Gold and Dust. And I wasn't even expecting it. He just texted me, did you get my package that I sent in the mail? And I was like, no, what are you talking about? And then my book arrived from him. Funny, because he knows me so well. This book is so good. If you guys, sorry, he's just making coffee. Um, if you guys want a really good book recommendation, I'm obsessed with this. It's basically about this woman, Samantha Wills, who had this massive multi-million dollar company in her 20s and it just talks about the impact that it had on her mental health and she ended up closing the business down because it was just too much for her and now she's a motivation, a business speaker and mentor and a writer and I just feel like it is so interesting, especially when she talks about like her startup years and from someone who's trying to do a startup business and then also do social media I'm just like reading each page and it's just it's really inspiring and it's just really it's a really good read it's kind of comforting to know that everyone who runs a startup business kind of experiences the same things and it's really challenging at times and stressful and let me tell you a little snippet I tried so hard to find balance between my creative career and my personal life but the more I tried to separate them, the more balance eluded me. It's also from Sydney as well, which is really cool. But I just really like it. So if you guys want a good read, I really recommend. I'm already halfway through. And I think I started two days ago or something. Um, but yeah, this is also going to be on my agenda for Sunday. I think I'm going to do all my work, get everything done, and then hop into bed with my book. But anyways, I am probably going to wrap this vlog up here just because honestly I've got nothing else exciting happening today and i want to get this vlog live either tonight or tomorrow for you guys that's everything from me i hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog and we'll see you in my next one